Welcome to Plague! We're, hello. We're playing Plague today. It's a game I got off Steam. And I have no... It looked cool. So I got it. I have no idea what it's about. Well, I do. It's about Plague. <laughs> but I've never played it before. I haven't played the tutorial. So, yeah. You get to pick, um, I guessing, your different type. But obviously I haven't unlocked any of them except for Bacteria. So we're going that way. Um, insert gene. Well, hey. Um, okay, they're all locked. Brilliant. Oh, no, they're all locked too. <laughs> Continue. Um, let's click normal. Okay, we're going to call our plague... Stephen. Okay, Stephen. You are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Okay, seems doable. Select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start button to confirm, or click on another country instead. Bing! Okay, just for the lols, I'm going to pick Greenland. No, no. hmm, Canada, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Nothing against Canada, but it looks fun. Okay, Stephen has, <laughs> Stephen has infected its first human. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> We can use the cold temperatures and must evolve using DNA points to infect other people. More people. Okay, Steven. I clicked Steven and something happens. Oh, planes. These are very fast planes, I don't like it. Let's speed up a bit. Pop orange DNA bubbles when they randomly appear to get bonus DNA points. Alright. Pink! Pause. Right. Can you zoom in? Alright. So, we started our plague off in Canada here. Zero dead. Our plague doesn't... I don't think my plague does anything. Uh, they're over here, actually. So, must be doing something. Oh, bing! Okay, so we've got five DNA points. Um, now I'm trying to think what we use them for. New round of nuclear tests considered. Ooh. It's quite cool. I like this. Ah, okay. Um, so you double click a country and this comes up. You can change different countries. Ah, so this red line is our virus. We've infected six people. Not great. Um, early days, early days. Okay, cure. Trend graph. Cure requirement. And research conduit. Right. Um, weather. I'm so confused. Okay, okay. We've got to this little screen. Evolution history, transmission. Symptoms. Okay. <coughs> Decrease in red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood can lead to hypoxia in organs. Ah, okay. So we can pick to gain these things. So we can either do that. Painful lumps. <laughs> that sounds awful. Um, inability to sleep makes people irritate, irritable and less productive. Irritated stomach line leads to discomfort. Slight chance of infection when kissing. Oh, tempting. Pathogen in surrounding, especially in high density urban areas. The skin becomes blistered and painful, slightly increasing infectivity. No, I think we're going to go for the lumps and bumps. Okay. Oh, he's done. He's grown a bit. What else we got? Increased likelihood of allergic reactions, which can distract the immune system. Rich regions, particularly vulnerable, or pockets of infested, eh, infected flesh are painful and act as breeding grounds for the pathogen, increasing infection rates when burst. Well, yeah, we're going to have a pus related. <laughs> uh, okay, everything's still going. Bing! Right, we're slowly spreading. We've got some more points to use, actually. Let's see what else we do. Abilities, okay. 
uh, create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Pathogen evolved to withstand cold. We're in Canada, so oh, we have enough. Oh, here we do. Okay, so we're a bit defensive against cold now. Should survive in Canada a bit more. Let's just zoom, 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 zoom. Beek. Goldman Stanley Bank Crisis. The investment bank reported catastrophic losses today due to technical error in their random number generator. Ooh. Is that a disease causing that? We'll never know. We've infected 10 people. In whole for... Ooh, 11 people. <laughs> Canada is a wealthy country with high quality healthcare. To spread faster, you may need to evolve to... Evolve the drug resistant... Okay. Seems legitimate. Um, symptoms... Okay, that's the drug system. We need 12. Alright. <laughs> Whee! This even is spreading from person to person in Canada and will grow exp exponentially. You can control the plague indirectly by evolving it. Okay. I got this. It's spreading a bit. I'm starting to rack up some points now. We need one more point. Oh, okay. So while well, that's happening, we shall go to symptoms. Was it symptoms? No, abilities. Boink. There we go. Slightly drug resistant, so we should do well in it. <laughs> oh, Canada. New air filters are now being used to stop airplanes transmitting any disease between countries. Only advanced airborne diseases can survive them. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we need to adapt to this. We will. Stephen will rise again. What I mean by again. Hmm. New rules for transport, hygiene, or farm animals makes rural areas less vulnerable to disease. Well, I never. Have to admit, this game hasn't got amazing play value, but <laughs> infecting people. <laughs> oh, look, 90 pe 92, 93, 96, 101. That's good, that's good. Almost the whole population of Canada right there. Find out more about a country, click the yes, I know. <laughs> yep. We've only infected Canada. Oh. <laughs> World. Splint. 14 points. Transmissions. Can we ooh! Ooh ooh ooh. Ooh, good. Need to sneeze, need to sneeze, need to sneeze. No I'm fine. Um rats. Blood to blood contact increasing infected, especially in poor regions. No. Uh, we need it to survive in a plane. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Our baby can fly. Now we just need the birds to migrate. That could take a while. Oh, Stephen has infected hundreds in Canada, increasing the chances that an infected person will infect a healthy person. Keep evolving your disease. Yes, sir. What do you mean, zero infected? What the hell? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mutate and develop. Oh, nice. Stephen is rising. Rising. No one's dead yet. Pretty disappointed about that, to be honest. Soon Stephen will kill, and there's nothing that can stop him. Nothing. Boink. I'm just wondering what this. This is all the boats and planes, or something. Any boat? No, no, no. Medical research. Ah, they haven't done no medical research. Stop us. Oh, three thousand. Severe storm strike heavily populated area in Pakistan. RMS analysts warn of crop and property damage. Oh, hey. Is there any way we can get to there? No, 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 no. Stephen has infected thousands in Canada. People are being infected faster and faster. Oh, hey. 4,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000. Stephen, you're massive! 
and this is just, I like how it's just neatly staying at the border there. But the border police have none of that. Stephen has mutated and developed a hypersensitive symptom without... Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so... I'm hoping there'll be a plane from here. Somewhere. USA has been infected. In your face, USA. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Sorry, America. I love you. I do love you. You know that. Boink! Ooh, we've got 16 bits, 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 bits. What can we add? What, is it, what did this actually do? Oh, that was the blood. Oh, I'm blah, 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 blah. Symptoms. Abilities. Let's increase. Um, hmm, what should we add? What's this? Pathogen destroys motor neurons to cure paralysis. Significantly harder to cure and can be lethal. Or, inflammation obstructs bodily processes, swelling can obstruct breathing and be fatal. <gasps> Death! Random blackouts, yes! <laughs> okay, this thing's deadly. Oh god, I heard kids laughing, that's not very nice. Ah, oh, jeez. The more scary Stephen becomes by hurting Kim people, the harder humans will try to cure it. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, we have deaths! We have deaths, people. I'm proud of this. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm sorry, Canada. But, you know. Sorry. And America, of course. All the day's work with Steve. And Stephen. Alright. This, this may drag out a while. I'll cut back when we've taken some more land. See you soon. Say goodbye to Stephen. Say goodbye.